Sound type is an infamous type within the Pokemon community, as it has been speculated for a while that it could potentially be a new type for the Pokemon series to add. Now this video isn't that I think sound type is likely, even though I do. This video is a pitch to you on the reasons why sound type is a good idea for the Pokemon series. So sit back, relax, and hopefully by the end of this video, you will have been convinced sound type is a good idea. And the Pokemon company too, because I know they're watching. Okay, starting off with... Within the Pokemon competitive scene, there are types that are generally considered good and some not as good. Types considered top tier types are types such as Steel, Fairy, Water, Dragon, etc. While types considered not as good, which end up not being used as much, are types such as Bug, Ice, and Grass. Bugs, bug is probably the worst type in the game. Not every type is created equally, and some types are always going to be stronger than others. My issue with Bug at present is that it's just so much worse than the other types. Uh, Ice type is the worst type of the game. No defensive capabilities whatsoever, only resists itself, awful to switch into anything. Being one of the worst types to enter the Pokemon games. Ice type. Ice type, I actually had a tough time choosing between two typings, that being Grass. Their defensive capabilities really aren't great. You're weak to a lot of common stuff. Fire, um, flying poison, bug. It's really not great. What if I told you that sound is the perfect puzzle piece to balance the Pokemon competitive scene even further and potentially broadening the range of Pokemon used in the competitive scene even by just a little bit, by nerfing some of the good types and buffing some of the weaker types? So let's look at Bug, Ice, and Grass, some of the weaker types. So the type is Sound, so these weaknesses and strengths obviously need to make sense in relation to how Sound works in real life, which for these three they do. Most bugs are deaf in real life, they cannot hear sound, so that alone is a good enough reason to have bug type resist, or even possibly be immune to sound type, which could be a cool dynamic. Next, grass type. People often put trees around their house to insulate their house from outside noise, as trees act as an insulator of sound as the branches and foliage absorb the sound waves. This could allow grass type to resist or be super effective against sound type. Similar with grass, snow also acts as an insulator, absorbing sound, giving ice type that reason also. Which is why on snowy days it's often really quiet because the snow is absorbing all of that sound. And yes, I understand that that might be confusing because glass can break under sound and ice has similar properties to glass, but ice type needs that competitive buff anyway, so the snow reason works on its own. Also to further buff ice type, they could add a new move, like something like snowy day, which makes snow type moves, oh shit, sound type, which makes sound type moves not very effective against any type Pokemon out of like a certain number of turns. I don't know if that's too OP or not, but anyway, we'll talk more about new moves and interactions they could add later in the video. But you may be wondering, this is very confusing to remember, fire burns plants, it's easy to understand. What about someone who doesn't have these explanations? Well, apart from the fact that the game tells you now, there's an easy way to tell if sound type is super effective against something. As we mentioned earlier, the competitively top tier types are steel, water, etc. And in real life, sound travels faster through denser objects than it does through the air. Therefore, sound would be super effective against types that are denser, such as steel, water, and ground. Ice would be that exception, except it has snow going for it and we're trying to buff ice type. So with all that said, here's the chart I made for sound type. So sound type would be super effective against steel, ground, and water, due to sound traveling faster through dense material, as we said earlier, which will nerf steel and water, which are considered some of the best types in the game. And also by being super effective against water, it buffs ice type even more because it gives people more of a reason to use ice type. Since if people want to use an ice type move now, most water types can learn ice type moves. So people would just opt to use water types because it has less weaknesses. So giving water another weakness and giving ice type another strength can help balance that out and get ice type used more often. Psychic doesn't necessarily have to be nerfed, I just think it makes sense being weak to sound because it's like hard to think with a lot of noise. Resistances are self-explanatory, I just cut out some to make sound type less defensive. And weaknesses, grass, ice and bug, buffing those weaker types. And by the way, you can make arguments for more types, like if you really wanted to, fairy could be weak because of noise pollution, or ghost could be weak because of like devices that hunt ghosts using sounds. You could even potentially nerf dragon type because that's like or that's still a really powerful type even with the fairy, fairy nerf. The point really here is that sound type provides the perfect opportunity to balance the game even more. Moving on to my next point. There are so many Pokemon that could have the sound type added to them and given new life. Normal type is the second highest number of Pokemon in it next to water and normal Pokemon aren't even used that much. Normal is a fine type, but it's not super effective against anything, so it's not used as often as other types, even though it's one of the most common. 
So why not introduce a new type that would conveniently be replacing mostly normal typed Pokemon, such as Chatot or Loudred, and get these Pokemon into potential use, or if not, at least make some older Pokemon more interesting. So what Pokemon could be changed to a new sound type? Well here's the list I made. I won't explain obvious Pokemon retypes because it's clear that Pokemon like Noivern or Exploud is sound type, but I will go over some that you may be unsure about. But before I start I just want to point out that we basically have most of the type combos for sound covered already without even adding any new Pokemon. We got Sound, Sound Fairy, Sound Water, Sound Grass, Sound Ghost, Sound Psychic, Sound Bug, Sound Steel, Sound Flying, Sound Fighting, Sound Dragon, Sound Electric, Sound Poison, and Sound Dark. So immediately this shows the diversity of sound type without even adding anything. But why are these Pokemon sound type? I will explain briefly. So, Jigglypuff Wigglytuff are known for singing. Lapras also in its deck entry is known to sing, and its Gigantamax form literally has ice shards as music notes on a music sheet surrounding it. Blossom has Bell in its name and it's a dancing Pokemon, and it is said that when they gather together to dance, their petals brush together and create a soothing melody. Politoed, almost all of its deck entries mention its croaks and cries being strong and used in lots of ways. Mistrevious is based on a ghost that is known for screaming to scare people, um, which is mentioned in its deck entries. Wismaline is self-explanatory. Same with Chingling, Chimeco, Krikatot, Krikatoon. Our uh, Krikatoon is based on a violinist and uses its arms as violins to create music. Bronzong is a bell. Chatout, of course. Rubat and Swubat use echolocation and sound properties. Ordino has audio in its name and is classed as the hearing Pokemon. Time Poline use their pads they have in their body that vibrate at high speeds to produce sound waves. The reason they were water ground is that the amount of sound waves that they could produce could break the ground which they use to attack. But changing to water sound they would just have some ground type moves like how some Pokemon have moves outside of their type that they can learn. Also Time Pole and Palpatode have like little headphones. Maractus is based on Maracas. Of course, Meloetta are both forms. Kloitza is based on a snapping shrimp, which is an animal that hunts its prey by snapping their claws so fast, it creates a sound wave so strong it kills its prey. So, Kloitza would be sound type because of that. And it's like, only water type now, so it doesn't hurt at adding sound type. Noibat and Noivern have speakers for ears. Hakamoto line uses its scales to clang together to create sound to attack the opponent. Grookey line uses drums percussion as a means of attack. Toxtricity strums its chest like a guitar, which we see more in its Gigantamax form, and has an amped and low key form. Obstagoon is based on the band Kiss and its voice is staggering in volume. This is what I think. Uh, you potentially could do more like maybe the Porygon line because of like static noise and digital sounds, but there's probably some I missed. So if there's any you think I did, leave it in the comments. Now my next point, I think at this point most Pokemon fans would agree that the game formulas are becoming a bit stale and are craving a change in formula. I have a video in the pipeline of how I think they could change up Pokemon for Gen 9, so subscribe for that if you haven't already. This is my first real video on the channel, so if you've made it this far you'll probably like my content, so consider subscribing. But don't watch my other two videos because I made them in like 5 minutes. But yeah, so the Pokemon company is going to need to make the games feel fresh again. And I will talk about this more in a video in the future, but one thing they could do is what they did from the jump to 2D to 3D in Gen 6 and add a new type with new Pokemon, new moves, new interactions, and so on. So think about it like this. Each region is based on a specific area of the world. We've got Japan, we've got USA, France, Hawaii, and England. And so there are some rumors that the next Pokemon games are going to be set in Australia. Not confirmed, but there are still some rumors. So with the addition of sound type, the possibilities of new Pokemon are immense. Because if you think about it, most places have sound integrated into its culture in unique ways, because it literally surrounds us in our lives, in our animals, and music etc so for some new australian based region sound type pokemon there could be like a didgeridoo inspired pokemon there could be a pokemon inspired by the lyre bird which is a bird that can mimic sounds it hears from other animals or like stuff like chainsaws and then a potential move they could add for this like lyre bird pokemon they could have a move like something called mimic cry which whatever move it just got hit by it changes the sound typing to that type there could be a dolphin pokemon which for some reason we don't have yet and it could use like echolocation moves and that could like increase evasive or allow it to prevent damage from like environmental stuff like toxic spikes or hail or something like that. I'm just spitballing ideas. But you can see how a specific region sounds from its culture and animals is different compared to another region's culture and animals in relation to sound. So I think that with the addition of sound type we can fully capitalize on these differences of the different regions of the world and fully capture that kind of like regions style if you know what I mean like further and create some really cool and creative Pokemon. 
And just like a little side note, with the addition of sound type, it could open up the possibility of having like a music mini game within the Pokemon series, kind of like what they did with BDSP, but more in depth, or like the thing they did in Sword and Shield with like the band. But um, you know, with the addition of new musical and sound type Pokemon, they could potentially do like a mini game with like using sound type Pokemon. So that's like an option they could do. But before we continue further, we should debunk some rebuttals. Sound type is boring, it would just be normal type. Well for now it is obviously, but I do think sound type is deserving of its own type. When you think about it, rock and ground are their own separate types even though they are pretty similar. So the distinction can be made between sound and normal. Every Pokemon can speak, we don't need a type for it. Sound isn't just speaking, it includes music, percussion, and basically anything that includes the manipulation of vibrations in the air. Look at Xbot, it can literally blast sound so loud it can trigger earthquakes. That doesn't sound like a very Rattata thing to do. Or what about Jigglypuff? Its dex entry states that Jigglypuff's vocal cords can freely adjust the wavelength of its voice. Pokemon uses the ability to sing at precisely the right wavelength to make its foes most drowsy. Like, look at this. You can easily distinct which ones would be sound type and which ones would be just like regular normal type. Now look at these rock and ground type Pokemon. Pick out which ones are rock and which ones are ground. A lot of you probably could do that because you've memorized the types, but it isn't exactly obvious unless you knew the types already. Plus, sound and music is a big part of the world, and there are so many animals and things that use sound in cool ways that can be utilized to make cool and creative Pokemon, which we will talk about more in the fan-made sound type Pokemon section. Also, like we said earlier, it's good for balancing. And don't worry, it's not just all going to be like a musical instrument Pokemon. I mean, clearly we have examples of how it wouldn't be already. So if you guys have any more rebuttals, leave it in the comments and I'll respond to them. Um, anyway, so yeah, moving on. This may seem a little confusing considering that any type could technically be an evolution, but let me explain. And if my explanation doesn't do it for you, Loxen has like a whole video on this as well. But basically, Eevee only has evolutions from types that are considered special types. In the original Pokemon games, they weren't like special attack or physical attack moves. There were whatever type the move was is what made it special or physical. So, for example, a fire type move would automatically be special, even if it was like a move like fire punch, because that type was considered special. And obviously special and physical I'm referring to that as like special and physical attack and special and physical defense. So like a physical attack type would be fighting type, etc. So for some reason, Eevee only has evolutions from these special types, even though it's not even how they do it anymore. Technically, they could just break the pattern and make like a rock type Eevee or a fighting type Eevee. But if they do want to stick to this weird rule of only having special type Eevees, sound type would fall under that. And if it was released then. Similar to like what they did with fairy type. So basically, all my point is that Game Freak loves their EVs. They, for some reason, only add new EV types from the special type category, and that means that sound type would be a new opportunity to make a new EV, which they love doing, because they love EVs. Hey guys, so I realized that this video is already pretty long, so I'm going to move the, the section that I've done for, like, new moves um, for sound type and going over, like, fake mon designs. I'm going to push that into a future video. Well, I say future, it's going to come out in probably like a week. But, um, so yeah, if you're watching this video, it may be out. So you can go and click over to that video. But, um, I'll just like transition right now to the outro because this video is long enough. And yeah, anyway. So yeah, this is like my first real video on the channel. Um, if you somehow made it this far into the video, thank you. But, um, also you may enjoy my content in the future. I'm going to be making more videos like this, um, kind of higher budget videos compared to my other three I posted, but, um, it's gonna be, like, you know, videos on, I'll do, like, videos on Nintendo and Pokemon, so if you're into that stuff, definitely subscribe, and also, if you have any thoughts at all, really, on sound type, definitely comment it, because I will probably include you in a follow-up video, and also, just recently, the Direct has been announced, so I wonder if, um, my prediction was right, oh, my prediction, my suspicions of sound type being coming into fruition are true and we'll see maybe tomorrow but i will probably have a video on that um so yeah that's really all i gotta say love you guys see ya